Cheers everyone, Stormzy87 here with another video for you. Today's video is going to be a little different than the norm because it's a video response to one a fellow YouTuber and friend of mine, Forever Epic, has made, stating that Twin Twisters is broken. Yeah, I know, but hey, what fun would Yu-Gi-Oh! on YouTube be if cards were not declared broken literally every Tuesday and Thursday? So, without further ado, let's see what Forever Failure has to say, shall we? Let's get it on. No. Wait, I could do that better. Let's get it on! Yes. That was better. Today's discussion is going to be on Twin Twister, and why I think it is probably the most broken card in the meta right now. <laughs> And I know some people are going to be like, immediate, you're an idiot, oh my god, how could you say such things? What? No, I would never say that, Epic, about you. Um, no, I, you're always well informed and totally correct in this line of reasoning. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna need more drink for this one. Well, maybe if you, you know, take a deep breath, take a step back, alright? Let's it, let's see what I define as a broken card, alright? Oh, great. Now he's going to make his own definition, and then argue from the definition that he just made up. <sighs> Pro tip viewers, anyone who has to resort to such tactic in a debate or discussion is a dishonest snake, and should be shunned, ridiculed, and marked. Thankfully, I'm already doing that with this very video. So let's continue. Gonna definitely need more drink. I think a broken card is something that definitely affects the game on multiple levels in a significant way, okay? And then the three ways, and I have three ways Twin Twister affects this game. My first reason why I think this card is the most broken in the game currently uh, in the meta at least, is the playability of this card, alright? There is not a single deck in the history of the game that I can think of that would not run this card. That that alone is just tells you it's way too generic. Ever since decks have been decks, they've been running MST. And now Twin Twister has completely replaced MST. Yeah, just no dude. Not every deck can handle the discard cost of Twin Twisters. Oh, what? You say my subjective response isn't good enough for you? Well, unfortunately, I see no evidence for anything in your video. Therefore, it's now my word against yours. And I look better. So I win. So, theory and logic would tell you that since every deck is always on MST, Twin Twister is now in every deck after, M like after it's come out. Twin Twister is inherently going to be good in every single deck that has ever existed. All right? Is it safe to assume, all right, unless you're running some really, really trash, terrible, awful deck that had never had a chance of winning in the first place, Twin Twister is good in your deck. So issue number one, it is broken for the first reason that it is way, way, way too generic and playable, all right? So by your logic of Twin Twisters is too splashable and therefore it's broken, then MST is more broken by your logic, right? Because not every deck can play Twin Twisters, decks such as Ghost Tricks and Monarchs, for example, don't like to discard cards that they can use from their hand anyway. See? Your logic is about as fucked as me fucking a pink elephant through its fucking nostrils, for fuck's sake! Issue number two. It is format defining. You may, you may not think of it straight off the bat, alright? But before Twin Twister came out, people were complaining about Set 5 Pass. Even with a card like Denko Seka existing, because not every deck can play Denko, you see, but every deck can play Twin Twister. Those claims, they keep on coming. That proof, it keeps on missing. And so, even though Solemn Strike, which is e almost equally as broken as Twin Twister, I, I would just put it a little bit underneath Twin Twister in terms of brokenness. No. No, you... You, you didn't. You, 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 no, you, you didn't just claim that Twin Twisters is more 
broken than solemn notice, did you? You fuck! 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 Um, even though Solemn Strike came out, which technically only adds to the Set 5 Pass issue people were complaining about, now, back row is essentially irrelevant to the game, you see. Back row is irrelevant, huh? So, what happens when you set three traps, and then I go, and I don't draw into my Twin Twisters, huh? What happens then? Oh, that's right, I get fucked. That's exactly what happens. You act as if everyone is going to draw into their Twin Twisters, or open with it. You have way more fucking traps in your deck than I have Twin Twisters. The chances of you getting traps and me not getting Twin Twisters are significantly higher in favour of you than they are in me. But, whatever, why need to prove everything, like, or apply logic to that, when we can just magically claim that, hey, you might have this card for this situation, well, you might have this card for this situation. Whatever. On to your next falsehood, you shitlord, you. <laughs> Let me explain it this way. If you set zero back row, you're at a disadvantage, all right? Because your opponent can basically do whatever they want to you, all right? If you set one back row, it's not enough, unless it's a solemn, which is why solemn is really good in running every deck. But anyway, if your opponent, even, even if it is a solemn, a lot of the times, if your opponent only sets one back row, it's not enough. So what can we assume, all right? If you're going to run back row, and if that back row is going to matter, you need to set at least two back row. Now, if you set two back row, you get blown out by a twin twister. So now, assuming you're running back row, and you want your back row to actually be effective, you need to set at least three back row. Well, then you still lose to twin twister, because after they activate the twin twister, you only have one back row left, and if we go back, we have just said that one back row, most of the time, isn't enough to do anything. Yes. Just ignore the fact that your opponent may never get their Twin Twisters. Ignore the fact that you, in that scenario, still have one back row to fuck up their follow-up play while your opponent just lost two cards. Ignore the fact that you may already have cards such as Stardust Dragon, Starlight Road, Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss, DDD Siegfried, Dark Bride, and many others to stop the Twin Twisters to begin with. And finally, take your thumb and stick it up your arse to prevent further leaking of brain matter. So now, you need to be setting 4 back row, and if you're setting 4 back row, especially if you're going first, you're probably breaking, you're probably losing, your deck is probably too slow to keep up with anything. So, I think it is safe to assume that while this card is at least at 3, it doesn't make sense, to, you know, to run back row. You, you people are being forced to run max out on Veilers and Ghost Ogres and uh, Max C's and stuff like No. People play those cards because they are good. Also, in that scenario that you just mentioned, if two of your back row do get blown away by Twin Twisters, you still have two back row and one card in hand to fuck up your opponent's three cards. You are in no way out of the door at that point. Just because Twin Twister exists, you see, that's an issue. It is one thing to punish people for overextending and setting all their back row. It is one thing to have a threat, all right? That's what Heavy Storm was. Now, don't confuse Twin Twister with Heavy Storm, okay? Because Heavy Storm was at one and it was a threat. But once it was gone, it was gone. Meanwhile, Twin Twister is just sitting here like, nope, at any given point in the game, I could just completely wipe out your back row and blow you out of the game. That's, that's, not, that's not cool, man. You know what else isn't cool, man? Getting one up by back row the entire door. But that's what you want to happen. Why? Because your salty, your solemn strikes keep getting fucking twin twisted. <sighs> Please, forever failure, stick your thumb back up your ass. Your brain is leaking out again. It's, it's, I know, I know kind of counters pendulums, but to be honest, Konami can like design other cards to counter pendulums that don't completely erase back row from the game. And I, I'm, I'll be the first one to tell you, I max out on twin twisters in basically all my decks because. Oh dear, he's rambling incoherently. I think he had a peasant brain shut down. This is where the brain shuts down due to the amount of bullshit that it was just forced to spew. 
Let's speed him up and see if his brain reboots, shall we? Back, I was my least favorite part of the game, but that doesn't mean I can't recognize its importance that it has in terms of balance. If you have a balanced game, you need all aspects of that game to be at least somewhat relevant. And right now, Backer is completely irrelevant because Twin Twister is at 3. It's, it's not just a threat, it's like, it's like a law of the game right now. Like, you just don't want Backer because Twin Twister exists, okay? So in that way, it's format defined. Okay, that was about 30 seconds of speeding him up. Let's see if his brain has actually restarted itself yet. And, and lastly, and most importantly, this is the easily the biggest issue I have with this card, okay? It, like, it shares something with a banned card, and I want you to think of, I'm going to give you five seconds to guess which banned card I'm thinking of. <sighs> Let's go. <gasps> the suspense! It's killing me! Actually, I hope the suspense would have killed me by now. You've bored me so much my penis wants to fall off. Don't say what card I think you're about to say. No. Don't. Did, did, did you guess? Did, did you guess Lavava Chain? Because if you didn't, you're wrong. when a facepalm just isn't enough. <sighs> ah! Right? It, let me tell you what it shares with Laval Volchain, alright? Both of these cards have probably enabled some of the stupidest plays in this game. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Okay, want to give any examples of plays lots of people are pulling off with Twin Twisters like they did with Laval Volchain? No? Okay, then Epic, I have one thing to say to you on this. You're wrong, stupid, don't give any evidence, and you are the reason that we can't have nice things. Alright, and here's what I mean by this. Lavaval Chain was an accessible foolish burial for any card in your deck at any given point in the duel, as long as you were able to make it. It set up things like Jinlock and random FTKs and really good plays with you know, dark laws and all these kind of things. Like, it, it, it just did a lot of stuff. And it, it, it enabled a lot, a lot of combos, all right? But then you look at Twin Twister, and what does Twin Twister actually do? It says, okay, here's a foolish burial for your hand. Meanwhile, you get rid of any threats that were about to get in your way from your opponent's back row, while at the same time setting up your graveyard. Like, what? You realize you can't compare Twin Twister's discard effect to Lavaval Chain, right? You need the cards in hand you want to discard. Not just play Foolish, send from deck, or play Instant Fusion, summon Northern, go into Lavaval Chain, send from deck. What if you don't get the card that you want to discard? What if you don't get the Twin Twisters? What if you don't get either of them? You know what, Epic? I'm not going to bother explaining this point any further to you. Just, just go ahead. Goat ahead. <laughs> oh dear god, what am I doing today? Here, have a goat. How, how is that balanced? If I'm discarding a trick cloud, or a glow up bulb, or a damage juggler, you know, or a, even a Cosmo card, like a Dark Destroyer with my Call of the Haunted set, or, you know, like, there's just so, 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 so many examples. I'm going to make the bold statement that Twin Twister has probably enabled more stupid combos that shouldn't have happened than Lavalva Chain ever did. Hmm. 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 Nope. Not bothering debunking this. Have another goat. In its couple of months of existing. Alright? Like, let's think about it, okay? I'm just going to give you one example. Just one specific example that I can clearly remember. Alright? There was this one time my opponent didn't even have back row. And this play wouldn't have been possible with MST. Alright? And the fact that they didn't have back row was because I had a twin twister and I used it earlier in the same game and I got rid of their good back row, alright? 
And then on, uh, what I did was, I, act I activated Rota, okay? And I was going to search Junk Warrior. I mean, uh, Junk Synchron, right? And I had a Dop Warrior in my hand, and I had no way of going for game. But then, I looked at my hand, and I'm like, I have a Twin Twister. So I chained my own Twin Twister to destroy my own Rota and discard my Doppel Warrior. Alright? Then I searched my Junk Synchron, I summoned it, I brought back the Doppel Warrior, and then I went for game after a common... Like, there's a series of combinations that happened, and I went for game. But the point is, Twin Twister wasn't even doing its job of destroying back row, and I won the game because of it. You see? That, that, that's the issue that, it, it, that I have here. I thought of this, but I'm not going to do any research on this, because I feel like I am right. So, you have the issue that you have to discard a card. So, likely, every card that you discard for cost, you have a problem with. So, you probably also think that Dark World Dealings, Lightning Vortex, One for One, and Hand Destruction, and every other, literally every other card that you discard for cost, should be a ban slash limited, because you might set your graveyard with it if you're playing the right deck that can afford to discard and stuff like that and you might get an extra plus that wasn't intended off the card so we better fucking hit that shit does anyone else here see that his logic has more holes in it than all the fucking cheese in switzerland you know random decks can discard any any card in their hand that belongs in the graveyard that they weren't supposed to draw, Twin Twister just immediately solves the problem. I thought of this, but I'm not going to do any research on this, because I feel like I am right. As does every card that you discard for cost. You didn't convince me the first time, why do you think that saying it three more times would have convinced me, Epic? <sighs> oh, bugger off, you bloody annoying cock goblin, you. And it I know it's one problem it's solving, but I think that same problem it's solving is in itself creating a way- Oh dear, here it comes again, another shutdown. Let's fast forward him and see if he actually reboots his brain yet again, shall we? Bigger problem for the game, so that is why I think Twinkles is broken, okay? It's way too playable, it completely changes the format and the turns in the way people play back row. Okay, that was about 10 seconds, let's see if he's better now. Because it's not just a threat, it's like an absolute truth of the game. That if you set back row, you will get twin twistered. Nope. Fast forwarding again. Um, and then it just enables really, really dumb plays that go on for years. Like, the bad plays this card enables probably can't even fit in like a 10 hour video. Okay, so. Well, that was another 10 seconds. Let's see if he's got anything worthwhile for us here at the end. Come on, Epic. I believe in you. Come on. That is everything I have to say on Twin Twister. Do you agree? Is it broken? Is it not broken and am I just being an idiot? Personally, I think this, like, Twin Twister would be solved if it was limited. Because it would give people a reason to play MST again. I thought of this, but I'm not going to do any research on this, because I feel like I am right. And it would still be a threat, you know, it'd still enable plays. I thought of this, but I'm not going to do any research on this, because I feel like I am right. It just, you can't just do it all the time and spam it going crazy. Now, I thought of this, but I'm not going to do any research on this, because I feel like I am right. At the same time, Solemn Notice, Solemn Strike, whatever it is called right now, um, would have to be limited to. That's a whole other video though, so I'm not going to get into that, but yeah, so that's the discussion. And, you know, hopefully DN comes back soon, if not, I'll be working on that Dev Pro stuff, but we'll see. And until next time, forever's done, bye. Well, uh, that was painful. I mean, I, uh, I at least liked your intro. Ma! I did it! I said something nice! Ma! Ma! Well, that was... different. I apologize for not debunking Epic properly in this video, and this video being more insult, 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 fact, mock, mock, insult, 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 mock, fact, insult, insult. But my brain went into full-out insult mode to protect the precious, precious few brain cells that I had left after watching his video multiple times. I want to die now. No, really. I want to die. That's how sad this video made me.
Regardless, I thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Please don't do another video like this, Epic. That was fucking horrible. Oh my god. I need more rum and coke.